Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and I wanted to do a conclusion and recap on planting canola into these hay fields. And so at the end of the season, there was a couple of bare spots, and some of them were pretty big, and we sowed, we just broadcasted canola and rapeseed, canola in this field and rapeseed in the other, I believe it was, one way or the other. But the results were really the same, and I really was encouraged early on after the second video, all the bare spots, a lot of canola and rapeseed came up really good and it looked healthy. Um, I thought it overwinter really good. And I know people who overwinter um, those plants in the south. So I don't think that was an issue. I just think some, some of it was the competition. I think there's a lot of deer eating it. I mean, we'd see them out in these fields and they were wearing stuff out and you could see where they'd been wearing out the um, leaves of it and ultimately the end result is we have very little I don't think in the video you can see it much but scattered here and there is some of the canola and the bees are enjoying what they get but for what we did we put a hundred pounds down 50 in each field I mean it totally wasn't worth it so I just wanted to give you a recap on that and let you all know that direct seeding in my opinion into a field that has been recently been cut really low for hay, has some bare spots, and it was right before rain. It was a good time, and it came up halfway decent. But in the areas even that had thick grass, it didn't come up very good. In the bare areas, it came up great, but it didn't overwinter, wasn't worth the money, and unfortunately, um, just didn't work out. But thankfully, now you know, and if you have different experiences with that, um, let me know. I didn't have monstrously high hopes for it, but my, my hope was that I could get it to get going and kind of establish itself like some of the wild um, brassicas that we have here. We have a natural, um, natural, some type of brassica that either was introduced or whatever that comes up each year. And I was hoping to kind of get it set like that, just as a little early stuff for the bees. Didn't work out. Now I've got behind me over here to the side an area that I may plant some forage into. I hope in the future to have a little bit more time with these uh, honeybee crops, but it's definitely gonna be better to till and plant and fertilize, and that's the way it is with bees too. I mean, you, you throw bees out into the middle of a field um, or a box or whatever and not give them any TLC, no feed, no nothing. I wouldn't expect any better results than that canola gave us. Um, it's tough out there. Some areas are different than others, and in Tennessee, we have a lot of diversity and a lot of plant life that is fighting over nutrients, space, sunlight, all those things. So, that being said, don't try this. But I'm eager to hear your thoughts on things that you've done that either worked or did not work in the comments below. Thanks for watching our videos, we'll see you in the next one.